Hello! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a current household. I'm back today with another current household video. However, today this one is a little bit different from my previous ones because I'm playing with a entirely new family that I haven't shown on this channel before but today I'm going to introduce you to them and play with them with you. So today I would like to introduce you to the Evans family. Well this is one member of the Evans family. You can see a few pictures in the background there though of some of the other family members. But this is another family that I do play with off camera. I've been playing with this family for a few months now. I have been really enjoying playing with this family, developing their lives and their stories. But the biggest difference with this family is that I actually play with these guys without custom content and mods in my game. Apart from my skin and eye overlay, I have decided to keep them in my game as I just don't really enjoy playing the game that much without them so I did decide to keep them in my game but other than that I don't play with any mods or any custom content compared to what I usually play with. If you've been watching my channel for a while you will know that I play with all of my save files with mods and custom content but with this family I thought why not give it a go playing without them and see how much fun it is see how I get on and it is actually a lot of fun however I will give you a quick introduction to the family so then you know who we are playing with today I will kind of tell you a bit of their backstory and who they are what they like and things like that so this here is Amber Evans. She is, I guess you could say, the founder of this family. I did start off with her. She was the first sim that I made. She moved to Willow Creek and lived in a starter home. From there, she made quite a few friends and then actually got into a relationship with her ex-fiance, Liberty Lee. Yes, one of the sims that come with the world in Willow Creek, one of the very well-known sims, but she did have a makeover she looks a lot different i am playing in a save file so that is why she looks a lot different but these two did get into a relationship they were in a relationship for a while and they actually had faith here who is currently a teenager she's in high school she is a c student but they had her through having a science baby and i love faith so much she's growing up to be such a character and it's such a good sim as well however when faith was a toddler amber and liberty did get engaged but their engagement unfortunately it did fall apart and they ended up going their separate ways and as you can see by their relationship they don't necessarily get along anymore they don't really have much contact with each other but these two did move into another house in Willow Creek they lived there for a while and that is when Amber actually got into a relationship with her now fiance Sebastian. They were actually very very close friends before they did get into a relationship but Sebastian actually opened up his feelings towards Amber and said that he had a crush on her and that he liked her and at first I wasn't quite sure but Sebastian actually ended up getting along really well with Amber and they grew very close in a romantic relationship. Not only that Sebastian treated Faith as his own daughter and they both get along really well now as you can see their relationship bar is at full. They have such a cute family dynamic they are all very happy and that's basically the story of how this family has come about today. But now that I have given you a bit of an introduction to them I think we should get started with playing today because it is currently at 12 p.m already. It is raining outside but I think soon we do need to take care of some outdoor activities. Also this is their pet here Archie that they recently adopted and they also have a cat called Buddy who they got when Faith was a child and is currently hiding behind the painting over here. <laughs> I think Faith is actually going to have a pyjama day today but I think she is going to get on with doing some homework ready for school tomorrow. It's just been winter break but she does have to go back for her first day tomorrow so I think she is going to sit and get that done before she does chill out for the rest of the day. As for Amber she is going to head outside even though it is currently raining she does need to get on with some gardening and sort out her spring crops ready for this season. Amber 
Samba is in the gardening career. She actually is in the floral design path so she more focuses on that than she does the gardening aspect of the job. She is more into making a floral arrangement. We do actually need to gift one so I think we will start working on that in a bit but I would like her to start planting her spring seeds ready for this season. So I am going to purchase some seasonal seeds. I think we will buy two packs hopefully that will be enough. I have a feeling that we may potentially just get flowers out of these but if we do that's okay. We did, we got snapdragons and then as for our second one we got some daisies. I'm definitely going to plant the snapdragon because they will probably give us quite a lot of simoleons over time and then I will plant the daisies as well and then I will keep the rest in our floral arranging table for now. I'll buy a couple more packets and hopefully we get some good stuff out of them as I would like to plant some stuff in this planter box here as well. I always try and get Amber to have a variety of plants in her garden. She did get tulips and bluebells so we will plant them. I think throughout the springtime we will just focus on planting flowers as that's what we seem to be getting at the moment. Also whilst we're out here that does remind me I do need to take down the winter decorations as it's no longer Winterfest anymore. I'm gonna let Amber get on it with the gardening. I'm gonna go ahead and check up on it Faith. Looks like she's finished her homework and there's loads of hair piles on the floor I think from the dog. So let's quickly go ahead and clean them up. And then for the new year I am actually going to get Faith to have a look at joining an after school activity as she does need to do that for her aspiration and I would really like her to join one. I will see what kind of ones there are. I know that there is cheerleading and stuff like that but I don't know if Faith would really be into that sort of stuff. But I We'll get her to have a look on her phone so we will join an after school activity. I also think that Faith would like one that isn't going to take up too much of her time as she does like to hang out with her group of friends quite often and she does like to prioritise that quite a lot so I think that she's going to want to do something that doesn't take up too much time. I definitely think though she would like to join a extra curricular activity. There's either cheer team, chess team member, computer team member or football team member. We also do have the scout and drama club as well. I think though for her I'm actually going to go for the chess team member. I think that maybe she would be quite interested in that. We only have to go in on Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays and we get all the other days off so I think that she will enjoy that. I haven't got any of my sims to do this one just yet either so I think it could be quite a bit of fun and I think she would enjoy this because she does actually play chess quite a lot with her stepdad so I think she would practice a lot with him. As Sebastian here is in the astronaut career so he has to play chess quite a lot for his job so we just need to play chess so maybe we can sit and play with Sebastian and they can both get their jobs done at the same time but also we have completed a path in our aspiration for Faith so she now needs to reach level 3 of an after school activity earn and keep an A and attend career day as well I'm gonna see how I go with the aspiration for Faith I'm not too sure if I will end up completing completing it or keeping up with it as I'm not too sure if I want Faith to go down an academic route. She actually is really into horses and she is a horse lover so I am considering her when she ages up moving to maybe Chestnut Ridge and owning a ranch. She does actually have a friend who does live in Chestnut Ridge Wren and they get along really well and Faith actually does have a crush on Wren as well so I'm trying to develop that relationship a bit more at the moment but he does live there he said that he will take her over to his house one day and she can come and meet the horses and stuff like that so I'm definitely going to get them to do that at some point very very soon but I'm going to let these two sit and play some chess together as for Amber I actually would like her to quickly complete her work from home task so I'm going to go ahead and get her to make a arrangement and I think I will make a tulip one as we can currently have tulips growing so we can always get some more so I think I'm gonna make this one and then maybe we can gift it to Faith. Amber likes to make floral arrangements for Faith to put in her room quite often which is quite sweet so I think she is gonna work on that. I feel like Amber's favourite time of year would be spring as it's when all the flowers are blossoming and there's so many different flowers around. I think she would really really enjoy it. 
It is already coming up to 5pm now though, the time has gone very fast today but tomorrow is Monday and tomorrow is a day of work and school so I think that I am either going to go along to high school with Faith or we are going to spend the day with Amber but I'm not too entirely sure what I want to do yet, I'll probably decide in the morning as I'm not too sure if I would either like to do a bit of a bake sale with Amber as I've also got her to get in to the stuff that came with the home chef hustle stuff pack that recently came out so either we will do that if i'm able to bake enough stuff in time or decide what i want to do with that or we may head to school with faith who is now also currently going through a phase and faith is feeling distant right now and would prefer to be alone for a while that's very interesting i never really expected faith to go through a phase like that we we'll give her some space but before we do i am just going to quickly get amber to gift her the floral arrangement also there is so many hair pearls around right now i'm not sure if that is coming from the dog or from the cat i think it's time though that we start grabbing some dinner as it is getting pretty late let's pop the floral arrangement on faith's desk it's definitely very pretty it definitely matches the color of her room as well these guys are not too hungry they are actually getting quite tired though so i I'm gonna get Amber and also Sebastian to get into their PJs and get comfortable and watch something on the TV for a bit. As for Faith though, she is quite hungry. Also, she just got a message from her friend John who said, congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is gonna be great for you. He's probably just saying, hey, congrats on getting a place in the chess team. I've considered joining it. Maybe we could go together because I feel like John would be into stuff like that. John and Faith are actually childhood friends they have known each other since they were very young since they were toddlers so they are very very close and they also do go to school together as well i'm gonna get amber to quickly come and sit down with sebastian and they are gonna sit and watch a show together before they do head to sleep this evening i'm gonna get faith to have a shower and get into her pjs as well and then she is gonna make herself some dinner or i think she may actually just make herself a microwave quick meal which i just realized i actually need to get a microwave so i'm gonna quickly get one of them because i just realized we don't currently have one i've gone ahead and grabbed the microwave i just put it over here in the corner we have so many different appliances now in our kitchen but we are just gonna have a quick meal i think that i'm gonna get faith to make herself a cup noodle she's gonna make something quick and then head to sleep probably also i have decided i don't don't think that I will head to school with her tomorrow as sometimes the school day can be a bit boring but I think that instead I will actually meet up with her after school. She does have her chess meeting after school but I think after that we will meet up with her and maybe she can head out with her friends so then we can meet them as well in this video too. And looks like Archie is afraid of the microwave, poor Archie. But I think I will just let Faith head off to school and then we can meet up with her when she does arrive back home. But she has finished her dinner now so I'm just going to get her to hop straight into bed as it is getting very late. She does have her first day back at high school tomorrow after winter break so I think she is quite looking forward to it. She's probably looking forward to seeing everybody. But I'm going to let everyone in the house rest and we will catch up with them all again in the morning. It is now the next day and Amber has woken up at the crack of dawn. It's 5.30 in the morning. She's woken up to make herself some breakfast and for Sebastian and Faith as well. Then she is going to get on with getting everything ready for her bake sale today. Looks like Faith is awake. She is up ready for the school day today. And surprisingly, it's actually very hot today. I'm not too sure why it is that warm. But I'm going to get Faith to change her outfit and I think today she is gonna wear something that is gonna keep her quite cool then it may be a bit colder at school but she's gonna wear this outfit here with her jeans and her top and then I think she's gonna come over feed the pets and then she's gonna come in here and grab some breakfast strawberry crumpets are ready for this morning Amber is gonna sit down with Faith and grab one to eat and we know that Faith is currently feeling a bit distant so she's actually moved away from her mum to come and sit over here and I just got the pop-up that says that Faith likes country style and I'm definitely gonna say yes to that I think that she definitely would 
I like that that has popped up for her. Looks like Faith isn't feeling that distant though. She is having a chat with her mum, talking about travelling I guess, probably talking about heading to Chestnut Ridge. Buddy is on the kitchen side. I think that Amber is going to tell him to get down. I don't think she is going to be very fond of Buddy on the work tops. But we do need Amber to prep some ingredients for today. So I am going to get her to come and prep some batter and also some dough as well. But by us prepping ingredients, it means that we will be able to bake things and cook things a lot quicker, which will be very helpful when it comes to time and being able to make stuff quickly. Faith is off to school so I'm gonna send her alone today. Hopefully she will have a good day and she's changed her outfit. I'm not too sure why but bye Faith. See you later. I would like Amber to try and get everything done by 10am hopefully. Hopefully that will give us enough time to sell some stuff before Faith does come home. First off I think we should make some cupcakes and things like that using the batter, maybe some waffles as well. So first I think we should make some carrot cupcakes. Unfortunately we don't have any carrots. The cooking time is reduced because we do have the batter though which is great but at some point I would really like Amber to grow her fresh fruit and veg in her garden and then use it in her baking and also try and get jams and stuff like that. Cupcakes are ready and done and I think we should also make some waffles as well so I think that we are gonna make some berry waffles to sell. I feel like they are quite spring themed. And we just got a pop up for Faith as well, which says school project. Students are allowed to choose their own assignment for an upcoming school project. Should Faith choose an easy assignment and ensure a good grade or find a more challenging assignment and learn something new? I think that even though I've chosen the academic aspiration for Faith to do, as I said, I'm not too sure if I'm going to follow through with it as I'm not too sure if it is Faith. I am actually going to get her to choose the easy assignment. I think that she is probably going to do something on horses or something that she knows really really well. So I'm going to get her to choose the easy assignment. She did still get a performance gain at small. Sure enough Faith gets an A for her beginners origami and the little paper frog even hops when you press it. The good grade brings up her entire average by a point or two. So that's good. She still managed to get her grades up. So choosing the easy did benefit her actually. We have arrived at the park with Amber. We have arrived at Newcrest Park. And it actually looks like one of Amber's friends, Aubrey, is here. So we're going to say hello to her in a second. She may come over to the food stall. But we will go ahead and plop it down in the world. And we'll just put it here. And we'll put all of our food into the stand. And then we can set it up. So we will go ahead and start a food sale. And hopefully this should work. I have done it once already with Amber and it actually managed to go really well. That's kind of awkward. Liberty just walked past Amber. That was very awkward, I could imagine. Amber probably did not like that interaction at all. I also do want to quickly check the price markup. It's currently on 0%. I think I'll keep it on 0% for now, but I will put it up as we continue with the food sale. And hopefully people will come over and buy some of our stuff. Looks like we have our first customer. So we'll try and maybe give them a bit of a sales pitch. It looks like Aubrey is off. We didn't get to say hi to her, but I can imagine they just probably said hello to each other as Aubrey did walk past. And it looks like another one of Amber's friends, Rain, is here as well. These two are also quite close too. And they do actually work together, I'm pretty sure. It does look like though we are already getting sales, which is great. Let's talk to Rain as well. Maybe we can try and give her a sales pitch. Rain does always seem to come to Amber's food stalls. She did come along last time as well to buy quite a few things. I can imagine that she's trying to be a supportive friend. And she did. She bought a cookie again, which is very sweet of her. We are now selling out pretty fast. We're actually getting a lot of customers, which is great. I think we are actually starting to become a lot more popular. The oatmeal cookies are nearly out and so are the berry waffles as well. There's only two of them left. We have actually managed to make quite a good profit. Not a lot of people bought the bread, unfortunately, but all the rest of the stuff is selling out fast. Last. And Faith has just finished school. I'm not going to get her to come here because she is about to head to her chess meeting. But she did manage to level up her grades to a B student now. So she is now a B student. Her assignment she did in class today must have really helped boost her grades up, which is great. 
We are doing a great job today though. This round is definitely going a lot better than the last food sale I did. So that must mean that we are improving. We have fully sold out the berry waffles and we are getting close to selling out the oatmeal cookies and we just did. Everything seems to nearly be gone apart from the bread. So I think maybe we could potentially have a full sale. Everything could sell if we can sell the bread in time as well. We do have 36 minutes left so hopefully we can get some sales before it does end. Amber's definitely getting very good at convincing people to buy stuff which I think is really helping. It's over though and we managed to make a profit of 202 simoleons. The oatmeal cookies and the berry waffles were the most popular so we will put everything back into Amber's inventory for now and then I'm gonna get her to head home. Looks like she's eating one of the leftover cupcakes as a bit of a reward for selling a lot of her baked goods but I am gonna get her to head on home now. It was definitely a very successful day. She's feeling very happy. We have just arrived on home and we have been greeted home with the bills which are actually extremely expensive. So I am gonna pay them in a couple of days, I think. I'm just gonna wait until these two can get a bit more money so then they can still have some money left in their household funds after they do pay the bills. Looks like Faith has arrived home from school. She's feeling a bit stressed out because she's near Amber but I think she is just gonna quickly have a quick chat with her mum and just ask her about her day but to end off the episode I would actually like to hang out with Faith for a bit so I think we're gonna head out with her to maybe the coffee shop to meet up with her friends or somewhere where there's lots of teen activities so I'm gonna get her to come and take a brisk shower because she does need to get her hygiene up a bit and then I'm gonna get her to get changed into the outfit she was meant to wear today and then we will get her to head out as for amber whilst faith does that we will quickly come and tend to some of our plants because they do need weeding so we will come and do that and i completely forgot we had more planter boxes over here so i think i'm gonna have to plant some more stuff in them planter boxes at some point and as well i think i'm actually gonna get amber to rummage through the decoration box for some spring decorations so then we can put some up in the house faith is all done now though she's just coming out to say goodbye to her mum she's gonna head out with her friends she'll be back in a couple of hours anyway she is only gonna head out for a couple of hours just to hang out with them so I'm gonna get Faith to meet up with her friends and we'll meet her when she does arrive at wherever they decide to go Faith and her friends have now arrived at the community pool. They've come here to hang out to just play on the foosball tables together, on the arcade machines. John is in his swimwear. I'm going to try and get him to quickly get changed. I'm going to stop the foosball just for a second so then we can get him to get changed into his everyday outfit as well. That's the only thing about not having MC Command Center in is I can't change my Sims outfits. There we go. He's gotten changed now so we will play with all of these guys again unfortunately we can't all play together so diana is gonna watch them as she isn't really into foosball anyway but i will give you a bit of a quick introduction to face friends as they do all play together so as i did mention already this here is john faith and john have known each other since they were very very young they've grown up together so they're definitely very close and then this here is annie these two did actually meet in high school so they haven't known each other for too long Annie is the newbie of the friendship group but she gets along very well with all of these guys and Faith and Annie have actually grown close very very quick and then this here is Ren. Ren and Faith have known each other since they were also children they went to elementary school together. Ren is actually the sim that came with the horse ranch expansion pack. I gave him a little bit of a makeover when he did age up and he is also part of their friendship group and they get along really well too and Ren is actually the sim that Faith does have a crush on and as you can see she has teamed up with him and she is feeling flirty so <laughs> and then we do also have a Diana who is downstairs in the pool currently looks like she wanted to go for a swim instead of playing foosball but Faith has also known Diana since she was a child as well so she has a lot of close friends that she's known for a long time and they're definitely a really close-knit friendship group looks like they're all having fun at playing foosball though 
I'm not too sure who's currently winning, but Faith is feeling a very flirty around Bren from crushing on someone nearby. Also, actually, for Faith's New Year's resolution, I did actually get her to do the resolution get a significant other because I maybe potentially might get her to ask Ren out on a day. I'm not too sure if Ren likes her, but she does have it as an idea in the back of her mind, but I don't know if she is going to follow through with it or not. I think I will get these guys to wrap up foosball now or Faith is going to dip out just to quickly grab a snack because she is very hungry. So she's just going to get herself a sandwich and sit and eat that. Probably watch from the sidelines Ren's taking on for their team himself. Faith will need to head home soon though. She was meant to head home a while ago. It is now nearly 11pm. So Faith is going to wrap up and say goodbye to her friends now. She's going to say goodbye to Annie. I think as well as she says goodbye to John she is actually going to try and convince him to come and join the chess team. I think that she would really like John to come along. I think she would kind of know Annie wouldn't really be into that neither would Ren or Diana. So she's going to kind of try and convince John and be like can you join the chess team? It'll be so much fun. It looks like we did have a positive interaction so I'm assuming that maybe he said yes. It looks like Ren did head off. I'm not too sure where he is so Faith didn't get to say goodbye to him but I think she is probably feeling a bit sad about that she's probably thinking oh I really wanted to say goodbye to Ren but she is gonna head off home now because it's midnight and she has school tomorrow I can definitely have a feeling that her parents wouldn't be very happy about this but she's gonna quickly head on home but that is where I'm gonna wrap up today's video I really hope that you did enjoy it I hope that you enjoyed seeing my other current household that I play off camera I have done a lot of current households on one of my main families the Harmon family but this is another family that I do play with time to time for me they're much more of a chill family if I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with the game I will come and play with this family as there isn't too much going on it's quite chill and as I don't have as many mods in or custom content it just doesn't feel as overwhelming or there isn't too much to do. It's more of a vanilla way of playing the game and I definitely do enjoy it when I want to play like that. And definitely let me know if you would like me to update you guys on this family or do another current household on them in the future as I have a lot of fun doing these type of videos. They're a nice mix up sometimes from doing my let's play videos and playing the sims but playing it in a bit of a different way. But other than that thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you did enjoy. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again very soon. Bye!